guys, it's me Fishman and welcome to another live stream of Genshin Impact where we are going to make the event, the event that have come out um, it's someone on Mondstadt, this one, let's see it it's this, of ballads and brews uh, right now everything has uh, came out the anecdote which is the story of the event as you can see there are three acts uh, all of them are uh, unlockable right now but we need to do uh, we need to do them by order. Before we advance, let's make some rolls. Scenery is uh, I have uh, some rolls to do in here. Uh, yes, four rolls in the normal banner. Let's hope for a four star thing. I'm not really hoping for a five star thing. This is what it means to be a free to play player. I won't have a lot of rolls to do on each stream, but I will save them all for the beginning of each stream, if I have them. Yeah, no, no 4 star things, maybe won't get any 5 star thing. Now let's make the new one. Ooh, a shitty book. Yeah, probably that's the only 4 star thing I'm gonna get. Oops. And I can do one more wish. Yeah, not lucky, not lucky at all. Okay, at least I got one four star thing. But I think I have a lot of that books. No, that's not it. Let's go to the bag. So this is the new one. Favonius Codex. I have this at level 5. Where is it? It's this one. Oh, it's at level 2. So we can upgrade it twice. The Woods, the Woods, Mapamari. Okay, this is the one. So details, Shen, no, refine, sorry. Need to make one at a, each time. Crits have 90% chance to generate small amount of elemental particles. Okay. He has energy recharge, not bad at all, this book. I'm gonna get rid of my old weapons. Normally I have some trouble by filling up all the artifacts. Sometimes I reach a maximum number of artifacts, but weapons, they are not a problem. Okay, that's good for now. Level 70. Can easily level it up to level 80. This is not a bad book. It has a good energy recharge. Maybe it's a good book for Sucrose. Where is she? What book does he, she has? She has... Where are you, Sucrose? Book, 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 book. She's not even here. She has to, oh, there she is. Attack. Normal charge attack with fish percent fireball perception. May, maybe that one is better. Whatever, let's start the event. We need to go speak with yeah. Catherine from Mondstadt. Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. 
It's a first. Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted you. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. Uh, it was nothing. The last couple of days have been pretty busy, but it was all super easy stuff, like delivering and escorting goods. When we heard that you were short on people, we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn-out adventure. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a much higher caliber than your recent assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Huh? Why is that? Probably because it's harvest season. That's right. This is the ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all-important winemaking season. Farmers are anxious to sell off their fresh produce, and all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top-quality ingredients to make new product. Ah, well, no wonder we keep hearing people talking about wine these days. Huh? What do you mean? Seriously? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The acting grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late! Hey, w wait up! Uh, why do those two knights look so... flustered? Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. What a rare pleasure. Kaya! Just the person we need! Um, why is everyone running off to the Knights of Favonia's headquarters all of a sudden? And these are what, help required to? <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened is that the Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly to go through it. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Wait, hold on a second. What did you say again? Knights of Favonius received a letter from the Grand Master. The Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius? That's. Isn't that Varka? The leader of that legendary expedition? So, what did Barca say in the letter? How's the expedition going? When are they getting back? Oh, so interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it? That you'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says he's a living legend. Oh, pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. Besides, the expedition has been going on for ages. And we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> the acting Grandmaster is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary knight, after all. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure. Alright, take care now. Okay, ballads and booze, act one. We need to go up here. So it's at the door. Oh, we need to enter. like just about everyone's here. Hey there, cutie. Paimon, I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? <laughs> yep, we ran into Kaya near the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something what? were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Who's Mika? Over there, look. 
The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? Mm. He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does. Ooh, new and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He He's the one who brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y yes Master Jean. In this wind. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> to the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe and all of its members are accounted for. Oh, that's fantastic news. <sighs> My palms are sweating. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous. Um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as the Captain. Uh, the Captain? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the Captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close. The man hides everything under the mask he wears, so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big, glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis, don't get any ideas. Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Vineleza Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laser Fest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah, ha, 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 ha. His laugh, not mine. <laughs> the letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Thank you, Mika. 
Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. <clears throat> PPS. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vine Lisa Fest is in just a few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vinlesa Fest will nonetheless be a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. That brings our meeting to a close. Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that right? They ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm. Who knows what that was about? But it must have been important. But, uh, Fatui Shmatui. The real big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Paimon wants to hear more. Typical Paimon. Hey, cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. Sounds good! Alright, let's go! Where is she? Let me speak with this kid. Nika. Uh, uh, hi there. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Yeah, he's wind, right? Please, Not water. don't mind me. Just wanted to say uh, Wait. What? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya. What, His eyes. what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika. How have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the storm terror incident, weren't you? Yeah, he's ice. Well, allow me to introduce you to the legendary honorary knight. That's right. And also the legendary Paimon. <laughs> Hi there. You guys are so strong. I'm... I'm in awe. Um, I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. For real? Aww, he just left. Well, that's too bad. Paimon was going to ask him all about the expedition. That is a pity. It really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along just fine. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. Okay. Thank you, Kaya. Time so to let's go. Talk with Grand Master G. Ah, Lisa. The Grand Master's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lesa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa. <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. Let me Mondstadt too. I missed everyone as well. Yeah! where our journey began after all we have a lot of fond memories here um master jean neither of us really knows anything about this vine lisa fest could you tell us more about it yes of course the vine lisa fest is an ancient monstat festival just like ludi harpastum and windbloom in addition it's the most important part of the fall each fall the west wind blows in monstat Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the Animo Archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the Animo Archon, all right. For this reason, 
Mondstatters call the western wind the returning wind. The Vinelesa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind coming day during the following year's Vinelesa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Did she bless? Oh. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep, that'll happen. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, monsters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. Mm, all part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well. And the Vinelesa Fest remains a time for monsters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vinelesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? Well, originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! If you have the time, I encourage you to take a look around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, uh, Lisa, what was the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with mm, Razor's past. Razor's past? Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves in Wolvendom. Yes. Never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupical, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says, it's time to give the box to Razor. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No, the connection between them goes back much further. Wow. Well, come on, let's go find Razor. He'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents. Hmm. Tom and White, please, there's something worrying you? Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? Nope. For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one. Even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's circumstances. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But you are his trusted friends. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about Don't this from you. Thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get. All right, so where's the box? We already have the box, probably, yes. Razor's usually around Wolvendom, right? Uh, how do you think he'll react after hearing about this? Okay.
There's a trap in there. Hey, look! It's a hunting trap. Hmm. It looks like the ones that the hunters from Springdale use. Huh? What is it? There are traces of electro energy near the trap. Electro energy? Hmm. Paimon wonders if it could be Razor. But Paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters. Well, anyway, let's follow the traces of Electro and see where they lead. Last trap has been set. Razor, thanks for coming with me all this way. It's okay. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? <laughs> it smells familiar. Friend. From far away. Razor! Oh, and it's draft too! Are you two hunting together? Yes, it's almost harvest season, and the boars are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Browncat catch boars, protect everyone. Wow, Razor! This is a big step for you. Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> You can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. <sighs> but much talking. Very tired now. I'm happy for you. Yeah! But, um, actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want to know. Uh, so you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Ugh, sounds complicated. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. What is it? Seems like you have something to say. Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just that uh, his fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Exactly. I think that's the heart of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Seems like a similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? Wait, but then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people, and in your own instincts. <sighs> what do you think? He'll have to face this sooner or later. I will be there for him as a friend through this. Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on, makes me feel much better about this whole thing. 
Tell me all about this. So tell me about how you plan to approach the situation. Okay, got it. Right, let's head back. We don't want to keep him waiting. Hey, Razor. So, what are your thoughts? Still thinking. My heart, it feels strange. Like hmm. being stabbed by a wolf hook. What do you think of Varka? Varka? Hmm. Tall. Very strong. Likes to laugh. Then do you trust Varka? Yes. Trust. He's very good to me. Give me a name. Teach me to fight. But now, busy with important work, I miss him. You know, Razor, Varka used up all the paper writing this letter. But he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Lisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the Traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. Don't worry, everything will be fine. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. Okay. Thank you. I decide... I want to go with you. To see Teacher. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the, uh, my laser fest starts. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go back to Mondstadt. Now we are taking the Razor. Good. Really? Lisa, the box? Yes. We brought Razor. Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. Ah, oh, my little wolf cub's in a good mood. I'm assuming they've discussed the whole story with you already? Yes. Here, this is it. The wooden box. I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. Yes, I am sure. A scent. A scent? What kind? A scent. I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, let's see what other leads we can find. Hmm, this woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? Is this a part from a ruin guard? Wait, hey, look, this wine bottle is still half full. And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand, uh, thousand wind wine. Oh. So it's a bottle of Thousand Wind Wine? Teacher, you know? Very valuable. Of course. Get you drunk thousand Wind Wine was the seats. first kind of wine that Mondstadters ever learned to make. Or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it. While others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each time. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent-tasting products. 
That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Wind wine in the markets or taverns. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. That must mean there's something pretty important about it. <gasps> oh, Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. Okay. Then drink it. Don't waste the wine. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is He's that a just, smile? just by the smell. Find anything? Sweet. Cold. A little bitter. I like. Many things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. <sighs> it's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Win Wine. Oh, great idea! You've been to be coming? Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. Ask many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you are with the wolves for drafts. Trusted comparison. We'll be here with you, just like we promised. Okay. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother really? and human father. Great! See you at the opening ceremony. Okay, wait two days later. Should we wait outside? Nothing you can let the two days pass. Psh, so many times. So beautiful. Oh, damn. Can the balloons pop? Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinlesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When wind coming day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. Razor, you're here already. Hmm, so many people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Uh, who? Joe. Just some tone deaf bard. Your mama. But he's also a know-it-all and loves nothing more. 
more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. Barbados. Pin Tito and Arkham. Where is he? Oh, he's around here. There he is. Can we buy something? Hey, Greg. We like to rave not only we're selling wine, but we are also acquiring all kinds of wine making ingredients during the festival. I'd like to buy some ve beverages. Here's the menu. Ooh. I've got a new recipe. There's the venti. It's been a while, so nice to see Traveler. you. Traveler! Paimon! How do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon, during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey Razor, how have you been? All right. I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Win Wine? Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside. And there's a label on it that says Thousand Win Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine. And the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... Well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? A song. No, Not please. easy to understand, but Maybe, no, no, still want to hear. Excellent answer. The cup of then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste mm. to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. The wine. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. It's in music. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, <laughs> bitter notes fade away. As we wait, <laughs> wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. <laughs> uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine. Uh, a little yeah, sweet, like but now scene. head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. It was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. That's what you think. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope. Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves 
And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain! Uh, I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Yeah, by reviewing the direction, maybe we'll understand what kind of people they were. Right. I want to Velma? know about them. Well, Velma. if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Ooh. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So how about we meet again in two days? Let's say same place right here? Okay. I will remember. See you then. Okay, so again two days. Act one complete. So each act takes about 40 minutes. We've unlocked all the uh, things, I think. What the hell is this? Autumn Crisis, I Win Trial, Charity and Creativity. Okay, we are going to do this later. Are these quests? Okay, maybe we'll do this first, go to quest. There are a ton of sellers at the Vine Laser Fest. Should be some pretty cool stuff to check out, right? Let's go and break. Okay, let's do all these little events in here. Please take me with you, I'll be helpful, I promise. Hey, calm down, we're recruiting the other first boss now. Yes, but can't hire some. Oops. Uh, what shall I do? My paper, it's. Is my paper gone? Together with the forest boss disappearing into the woods? What's with the long faces, you two? What happened? Oh, if you didn't listen to the traveler, cheer up, lad. This person right here might have a solution for you. Solution for you, trouble for me, I'll bet. Looks like it's time for me to shine. Ah, you truly are Moon Sasson Rare Knight. We're not only capable but also helpful. So, what do you need our help with? Well, forest boars have been appearing very often recently, and there aren't enough of us hunters to deal with them. So, we are recruiting volunteers who are willing to capture the forest boars. This student from Summer wants to join too, but judging by his feeble look, he's not physically suitable for such a task. Aren't you a student? Why do you want to join the hunt? Forest boars may appear lovely with their round shape, but they are very dangerous when charging towards you. I'd advise against approaching them unless you're as agile as fish. I know, I know, but a creature of legend has appeared around here after all. Hold on, a creature of legend? Yes, it's probably talking about the white maned forest boar species that I happened upon a few days ago. I happened to mention it when I was chatting with him earlier. I've never seen that type of forest boar before, but are they really that special? Of course, as far as I know, the type of forest boar you saw is a breed that has been extinct for over a hundred years, the snow boar. Some adventurers recently claimed that they found traces of them into the dragon spine, but the academic world as at large did not believe them due to inconsistent sighting reports. I won't hide it from you, I'm an Amurcha student from the Sumer Academia. I have not noticed on the topic of graduation paper, so I came here to take a break and attend the Wazenul Fest. Wazenul Fest it would be a great academic discovery if I were to find the conclusive evidence that snow bore Swiss is still extant. I'm sure it will make my paper writing process a lot easier. See if it's just me or do you also feel... also find that many academia researchers we met have similar worries. Studying is important, indeed, but good health is the foundation for everything. 
so for the sake of it, safety I really can't bring him along. Traveler, would you be willing to join a capture team in this place? If we have someone like you join us, we'll be able to catch forest bars much more efficiently for sure. And we can also free up some time to help look for traces of the snowboard. Really? Don't worry, I have funds for research. I can definitely offer payment that will be satisfy that will satisfy anyone. Okay, let's do this scientific research. Settle then, traveler. I'm heading out for the catch forest boar soon. I've seen boars in this place before, so you will come to. I set up the common hunting tools in the forest. I'll teach you how to use them later. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. I need to keep the net, right? You must expel forest boars in the area. You can also no attack to do so. The explosion. Different items may appear within the area to help you get rid of forest boars. The hunter shield allows to damage forest boars and will also resource them to care for strife. You can also expel forest boar within a fixed AOE. Okay, what? Huh? I need to kill them all. Your piglet. Capture progress. Three out of three. Exit. I think it's done, right? Even details. Confused. So is this a side quest or is this a little mission? <laughs> oh, this is the same guy. You're here, traveler. Here's some good news because people have found concrete evidence of the survival of snowboards. I just received a letter from my mentor saying that my thesis has been approved. Whoa, sounds like everything's going smoothly for you, huh? Congrats! It's a good start, but the research that follows will take a long time, so I have to be prepared to stay in Montsat for a while. Next, I have to figure out how the snowboards managed to leave the snowy mountains and end up in the forest. Based on the tracks that I found, guessing that they descend the mountain from its western face, passed down winery, and then made their way into the spring well. If this hypothesis is correct, we should be able to find traces of them into the area, so our goal today is to investigate this. Paimon gets it. Uh, also, who is this guy beside you? Looks like all the rest to hunt. Hello, my name is Walter. Recently I've taken up the responsibility of overseeing a security near Down Winery. Paimon told me 
that you guys are looking for snowboards. Could you come with me today? I happen to need some extra hands to help out. Uh, some forest boys broke into the nearby farms last night, scaring off their all the pigeons in ducks. They still haven't found all of them. Traveler, when we are hunting later, please capture these small animals when you find them and bring them back with you. Of course, it's my pleasure. I heard that you know how to use hunting tools. I've got some around here too, so help yourself. You can set off once you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, this is cool because it's uh, mini games. Scarlet decks, white pigeons. Forest boss, okay. Animals in the challenge have to value that once full will cause them to enter in large state, causing the difficulty of capturing them to increase. Nick. Okay. Wars will be presenting in the area. Can meet up close or activate using hunting net. Attract any attention by animals at the same time, by branches and leaves that will make louder noises. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. It's done, really? That easy? Okay, and this gives some cool primal gens. Fifty seventy primal gens. Okay, so now it's the last one I think. Oh, Right, we track the boars into the mountain. Ugh, it's getting a little cold. Time to bundle up. Now we're going to fight the big boar. You're here, Travel. Oof, that's a relief. Whoa, it's Admiral and Farabi. Why did you suddenly come to Dragonspine? Paimon was pretty surprised that you'd ask to meet here. Haha, <laughs> this is quite sudden, but since unexpected research target has appeared, I can let go of this opportunity. Expect the research target? Yes, Mr. Edmund says that this seen huge animal footprints at the foot of the snowy mountain and we finally found similar prints uh, similar prints around this area. I can just confirm that the huge snowboard does indeed live here. If you can get samples of the air and blood they will be a huge help in figuring out snowboard living conditions and why they appeared at the foot of the mountain. So our objective today is to hunt down the huge snowboard? No, it's not a hunt. In the legend we hunters tell the huge snowboard is the true master of dragon spine and it is not something you can just hunt. But I suspect it will be right alright if we trap it for a short while to research proposed, right? Gotta help me out this far away. 
Mm, don't you worry. Honestly, after learning what Mondstadt is always plagued by forest boars during harvest season, I've been thinking a lot. If all goes well, we'll continue our research on the forest boars and maybe even find a solution to the problem. After all, one of the most important purpose of studying creatures is to find a way to live in harmony with them. Okay, hey, it looks like we've learned a lot from Winston Feist's location. It's well done fast. Yeah, I had great wine, made friends and found a goal to work towards, but let's hold the sentiment st sentimental stuff off after we get down from this mountain. Robert, judging by the size of those prints, I strongly doubt uh, I'll be a match for the snowboard. So I'm gonna have to leave it to an expert like you, if that's alright. But please, rest assured that I've set up the bait and some traps. Those should be of some help. Okay, leave it to me. Travel for ready, yeah. You can lure the snowboard now. I'm a fighting. String autumn cries up front, you must defeat the snow great snowboard king. Temporal restrain it. When the great snowboard king first enters the battle, it will be in an enraged state. You must use the various devices within the area, such as enter shields and traps, to get snowboard king out of the enraged state. Okay, nice. The amount of damage that can be done by the great snowboard king using normal attacks is quite limited. When the great snowboard king leaves its enraged state, the hunting net can deal more damage to it. Okay. Get over here. Oh shit. Get over here, dude. Ouch! Oh, good. Capture progress. Let me see why didn't I made Thank <laughs> you. 
Get over here, dude. Okay, we can throw three. That one was pretty fast, 3 out of 3, okay, new record. First one was a little dull since I was very slow. What's this? Oh, okay. Probably I'm going to get to level 30 with this event. Okay, whatever, let's see this. Oh no, this is the main quest. Let's see all the event. Yay, last one. And now we can finish this little quest. Right? Go to challenge. Oh no, we just finished it up. Maybe we don't have a closure. This is what? Ooh. A spear. Uh, okay, let's see more events. Next one. Go to quest. Navigate. Uh, where is this? Here. We all start in the same place, more or less. Hello, little girl. You wear any underpants? No? They've waited so long for you, my brave friends. Seize this awesome opportunity to explore the art of adventure with me. Try to surpass yourself. Surpass myself? Paimon doesn't completely understand what you're saying, but I'm sure it sounds impressive. Can't you explain? Of course, hold on, I know you. It's you. The hero who fought some terror in disguise. The ever beautiful commission shredder, the finder. Of agent says the preacher of unknown mists. With you leading the charge, everyone will surely be fired up for this great event. What's with all the titles? Pyramids never heard of them before. Such titles are usually coined around drinks, campfires, and for children's bedtime stories. They're only passed on by word of mouth, so it's normal for you to not have heard of them. Anyway, your presence encouraged many adventurers, giving them the motivation to keep getting stronger. So, Fish has become this famous in one start adventure guild already? How about Paimon? Does Paimon have any titles? <coughs> I think I heard of a friend mention that someone called the Great Paimon Light as Bird Feather and, and Feather as the North Wind itself. What? Light as Bird Feather describes your small and agile body, while Unfeathered as the North Wire refers to your appetite, <laughs> which is on par with the Night Boreas. Sounds just like an idea of a joke. Sounds like someone made it that on the spot. Paimon doesn't really get it, but since they're calling Paimon the Great Paimon, it's gotta sound impressive, right? Paimon will remember it. It's decided, no matter what your request is, Paimon. The Great Paimon and the Hero Shredder, Aerial Combat Razor Chest, and Commission Breacher Fish will help you out. Paimon heard you mention adventures and something about surpassing just now. So, is it guild? Holding some special challenge event? You're absolutely correct. You have probably heard that the Adventurers Guild often holds the special training for new members. This round happens to coincide with Isles Wind's Fest, the occasion upon which the West Wind has brought some special anemogramma. Anemogramma can strengthen the builds of adventurers and will let everyone experience what it's like to uh, become stronger. It also gives them a goal to work towards. This guild, this is what 
sei, filho. This is why Guild Master Cyrus has appointed me to. Olha a cabeça dele. Isso é no. Filho? Queres ir para o colo do pai? Grand Bandit Slugs. Here's more some Bandit Slugs. Ok. Mentors participating in the trials need to use special anemograma to defeat. Não, isso passa a cena, filho. They will be able to improve their skills, ascend to greater heights, and have something to look forward into the future. Já ali o sapo a saltar, filho. É o sapo. Boing, 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 boing. What do you think? Exciting, isn't it? Hey, hey, Pyman's right. Pyman's inspiration is really accurate. Well, we did have lots of tweet and drink, so it's best if we got ourselves some exercise. Right, right, let's roll up sleeves and give it a go. If you participate in this trial, I think a lot of adventurers will come just to see you. Next, I'll show you the first challenge in the area. Go for it, I'll record your heroic actions and tell the other adventurers about them. What? Ooh. Ok. Go to challenge. Take it easy. Não, meu bem. Uh, jump, jump, jump. It's here. During the Eileen trial, you may use the buffs provided by Sublime Anemogramma to challenge powerful opponents. You can obtain three Sublime Anemogramma at one time, and the buffs you get from them will differ based on the number. Is it on Obtain this anagram will also provide different combat buffs. <laughs> the tree has a cover. So the challenge above that makes effects in one area will not take effect in the other areas. A tão filho. A tão. Como faz o lobo? Each challenge area has five enemy camps. This camp will have wind currents that allow to reach the camp. Please, the final camp of each. Challenge stage will have nemesis that possess different characteristics. Use sublime anagramma to approach it with care. So this is the first. The wind knows me. Going in. Busted. Falling leaves adorn my knight into the wind. Bebê. Piu, 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 piu. Piu, 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 piu. Take it easy. Take 
Não, sem xuxa. Acho que a mão cheia de balas. Para que quieto, sócio. Não estou a fazer a fula, sabe? Quer ver, o pai não está a carregar à toa, o pai está a ser. Vai a mamar. Então não carregues. Podes carregar quando, quando eu não estou a lutar. Ok. Piu, 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 piu. Então, vai ajudar bem agora? This one now. We need to fire. Let's light it up. My apologies. Everybody stand back. Into the wind. As one with wind and cloud. Oh, you do it. Power fire. No. One with nature. Quiet now. Oops. Pew, 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 pew. Big arena. Yeah. Into the wind. Go in. Let's light it up. Take flight. Suffer a swirl. Unthinkable. One with nature. The birds call. Whirling. Gotcha. Oh. Is it done? Is it all done? Oh, yes, it is, but there are tr three. This is nice, we can get up to them very quickly. Okay, let's get to this one now. Okay, I like this one. Very fast pace, a lot of combat. This is this way. Very fast paced, it's cool. It has a, a story on each. Uh... Event. The wind knows me. Falling leaves adorn my nut. Teamwork is dreamwork. Huh? 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 Here comes the catch. Oops. 
wind strike. Game's up. Time's over. Into the wind. As one with wind and cloud. Take flight. Adventure time. I'm going in. Let's light it up. Sucker a swirl. Pew, 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 pew. Follow the wind. This would also result as a time trial pretty well. Oh shit. Uh, we didn't catch them all. But this has, has no time, so there's no problem also. Really? Time to go. Into the wind. Teamwork is dreamwork. Let's As one with wind and cloud. Come. Whirling. Here's our project to get started. Coming down to art. So then. Everybody stand back. Is the last one? Yes, it was the last one. Now, the last one starts in Dragon Spine. But we are seeing some different kinds of enemies that we don't normally see in Mondstadt. Snow that once adorned so the world in cool. silver. Clouds high. The birds come. One with nature. 
the spot of the boar. Follow the wind. What? It's not here. Sorry. Time to go. 
Just a big one. Off we go. Okay, so this is the end. My friend, the end. Oh, this wasn't what I was going for. What the event? Not the battle pass, my dude. They are all done now. Next, creativity and charity. Go to quest. Let's go find some tra again in Springvale. So everything starts here. Wait, honorary knight and Paimon. The best guide into that. I humbly beg for your assistance. Wow, did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? Oh, wait, haven't we met? Yes, in the manual of the Knight of Aphonis. So, this is the continuation of the main quest? Maybe? That's right. I am Bernhard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Normally, I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. Rescue? The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jean mentioned that. So, what happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky winner. I really didn't want to screw this up, so I asked all around for advice, but my experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth, and that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. Run has things that they struggle with. Yeah! Also, no need to be so formal. So you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause. She's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Avonius. We'll be more than happy to do our part. Spamon says we're happy to help. Oh, I can't Thomas. thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. Uh, the wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for winemaking. Sell them raw ingredients, and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages in bulk during the Vine Lesa Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long-term business relationship, these customers are usually willing to offer a generous price. And there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, and you can cash that amount in for fair brew jellies. So to sum up, our job is to sell ingredients to the wine merchants and place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh. Sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. Good at this. Really? Well, that's wonderful. I have one order here with me already. Uh, Mr. Shavir May from Sumeru wishes to purchase 50 crates of fruits of the festival. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please, consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. I should carry on setting up the stall now. Once you've gathered enough fair brew jellies, come back here and we'll take it from there. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. Alright, sounds good! We'll find the funds and you sort out the shop! This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. Okay, I don't think I'm going to like this kind of event. Hi there, Georg. We're Shavir May's agent. He's asked us to order 50 crates of fruits of the festival for him. Oh? Did you say Shavir May? 
He's a regular customer of mine. Always orders around the same amount each time. But I digress. What price are you offering this year? How about uh, 13,000? Is that a good price? Hmm, a little lower than I was hoping for, but he's a reliable customer. I think I can make it work. As usual, I will arrange for someone to deliver the goods directly to Shiverme's place of business. You won't have to worry about a thing. Just make sure you keep hold of this receipt. All right, let's keep bringing the funds in. We gotta work quickly if we wanna gather all these fair brewed jellies in time. Bernhard says we can approach this however we want. Just as long as we raise all the funds we need. We get a commission for every order we help place for an international customer. So maybe it's not worth trying to sell loads of ingredients to the wine merchants. Still... Just to make sure we've covered everything, let's take a look at the other wine merchants. Traveler, Paimon, you're here. This is the main quest, right? Hey, it's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Happy Wine Fest. <laughs> Fest to you too. When this fest. festival is one of the most popular ones in Mondstadt. I'm so happy I ran into you guys here. I hope you have a great time. Oh, also, I heard I'm Oops. just curious. Are you helping out with the Knights of Favonia's charity event? Yes. We sure are. Everybody's got to do their part, right? The stall isn't up and running yet. We're busy raising funds so they can open for business. There's sure to be a bunch of other problems to deal with once it's open. But whatever comes up, we'll deal with it. Wonderful. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Now that you've joined the team, I just know it'll be a huge success. Thanks for your encouragement. I helped out a small charity sale for the Knights once, too. Although, my only contribution was standing out front and singing. That's good enough. Oh! And I also met the bard, Venti, there. He even persuaded me to perform an impromptu song with him. The music he plays is quite refined and elegant. At first, I didn't want to sing too loudly in case I ruined the style he was going for. But he sang a harmony to guide me in. And before long, we were sounding great. In the end, the audience loved it. And we sold a lot at the event. So Barbara's worked with the Tone Deaf Bard before? I wish I could have been there to hear it. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't fit it into the schedule this year. Mm. The Church of Favonius wants to hold a sung poetry event somewhere with a nice view during the festival. Which means I have to go to rehearsal. We'll do what we have to do. It's alright. We'll take care of the charity yep. event. Sounds like we've each got our own important work to do. Let's give it our all! Oh, thank you both. Well, maybe I can't stay here and sing, but I still want to do a little something to contribute. I can... um... I can help promote your stall. Sure. Hmm. Should I make some big posters? Or maybe some flyers to hand out? I'll have to pick a memorable slogan, too. And maybe it'll seem more sincere if I sign them. Oh, then again, maybe telling people in person would be more effective. Wow! With Barbara helping out on the marketing side, this charity event will get loads more attention! Sounds like a lot of effort. You have so much on your plate already. It's fine, really. It won't take me too long. Oh, now I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> Let me think about it a little more and talk to some other people about their marketing experience. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And, um, the Knights and the Church of Favonius are really proud of you. Thank you. Aw, thanks! We'll do our best! Paimon's even more motivated than ever now. We gotta make sure we do a really great job here! Charity and Creative, you must use the following two methods to gather enough funds before you open your charity shop, sell wine-making ingredients to wine merchants, help out 
Outlander customers complete their orders and collect fee services. So I started the quest. Oh, okay. This is the uh, mm. event story. He had a pretty big day when we last saw him. Do you think he fell asleep when he got back and is still snoozing away now? Sounds more like something you do than Razor. Fair enough. You're right. <laughs> let's keep waiting. Well, since we've got some time on our hands, let's put our heads together and try to figure out that poem. Tom Dev Bard mentioned some ingredients, but they all sounded super abstract. An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Do you have any ideas? Maybe they aren't ingredients. Maybe they describe the wine's character. Yeesh, that's even more abstract. How do we go about looking for this wine's character? Where do we start? The Adventure's Guild, the Church of Favonius. Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Yes, and as for the word defender, it makes me think of Knights of Favonius. Wow, that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Vinylaza Fest. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That tone deaf bard, did he just... Perhaps he did, as a way of helping us to work Razor. In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony. Oh, ho, ho, now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. This honorary knight, Paimon! I'm sorry. I'm late. That's all right. We were just chatting. The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to her, we're finally on to something. Hello, Queen Razor. Hi. I was on my way. Then I saw Klee. They let me out for Vine Laser Fest. Albedo is super busy helping Tineus fix his recipe for an extra strong sobriety potion. Mm. So he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! I wanted to join in too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. Very own way? Uh-oh. This does not bode well coming from Glee. And that's when I bumped into Razor! Here so. Bomb crisis averted. Razor was acting kind of different than usual, like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. I did not say mommy. <laughs> oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Clee's gonna come help. <sighs> Razor, Razor. Finally, I found you. Bennett? Oh, <laughs> look who's here. Hey, everyone. Here, this is for you. Mm -hmm. A lily. Uh, a lamp small grass, lamp grass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Bennett? How did you manage to trip up on a small lamp grass? Hmm, that's true. They do glow after all. To be fair, they only glow at night. It doesn't help during the day. No, no, I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was they're really big and easy to spot. So I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay. Maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after <laughs> that. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. What a trooper. Definitely time to take a break. Thanks. 
How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned Reason? your situation too, and asked if we could help. Whoa, Lisa is yeah. doing some real work for once? Oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you've got to help out your friends, right? If my family... Uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day. I know you'd be there for me, too. Dad's. Yes. Can I help, too? Please, take me with you, please. I want to join in. Lee's in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Mm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, Bennett. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Clee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Huh? Hmm. I really appreciate the thought, Clee, but... I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this. A jumpy dumpty? Yeah, it's a lazy dopey jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Are you sure? Jumpy Dumpty will be happy to make a new friend, too. I'm also happy for you. Still have to look for ingredients with Tracer. Why don't you two go on adventure together? Good tomorrow? idea! Maybe Clee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure will go smoothly. And you might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. Of course, it's also highly possible that Clee will be the only one who gets lucky. Still, on the flip side, Clee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the violence of this. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Mm -hmm. Violence! Razor needs looking after. Honorary Knight, Paimon, you better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Give it to us. Good luck. See you later, folks. Bye bye. See you later, alligator. Venti mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. So, if we talk to some people we know at each place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes. These days, I think a lot. I am not smart not like teacher not like traveler but i still have to think everyone is ready to help but some things i must do myself i don't understand human father and mother but i must find a way to understand maybe i can learn about other people's father and mother first then think about my own father and mother that's why i want to ask questions that's great Keep at it, and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is like me. 
When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. Let's find more people to speak to. Yeah, we should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm. Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way. Okay, everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm always mistaken. I'm not understanding this event very well. Secure funds. I need to speak with these people. But we still have this one. Kenny's adventure team assemble. This is for the church. Hello and welcome to Iton Fest. May Lord Barbados will bless you. Hey, fish looks like there's, n there's a notice here and there's a whole bunch of. Oh, shit. They're not commissions, they're clues to find the Fukun Tempers. What's a Fukun Temper? Oh, it's a sort of treasure? That's on. One way to look at it. It seems like it's your first time presenting the festival. Would you like me to give a brief explanation? Well, since I'm not so interested. Alright, simply put, a Fukunda hamper is a gift prepared by residents for a lucky outsider during the festival. We aren't just welcoming the return of Lord Robert, but also mean the, to share the joy of harvest and reminiscence about good times. Everyone will put a gift in a wooden box, shaped like a barrel, and hide it in that place. That holds memories for them. Next, the owner of the gift will leave clues. The first person, no matter who, to find the box will get that gift. Other than gifts, everyone will also leave a message in the box. The person who finds it, this is a sincere blessing often more valuable than the gift itself. This sounds pretty fun. So would you two like to try to explore the Fukun Emperor? You should be able to work the clues easily. You have knowledge of monster costumes. Let's try. Fish. We might even get gift from someone we know. Good luck and have fun. Okay. Secure blessings for the clues. Gift notes. Various scattered Fukun Emperors. Open them to receive well wishes among such citizens. Okay. I've placed a gift near the stage at the wine market. I hope that this gift will make one person who finds it. This. Okay. Sorry, but the owner will be on leave on duration first. Oh, you're not here, Sidio. That's fair. I'd like to sell wine making ingredients. One moment, please. I look along this one. That's a position list. Oh, they just want five of each. Spring Fairy, Spring Vial, Get Style Fruits.
Oh, this one is far away. Okay, let's do this. This doesn't seem to be hard, since it's only to sell. It's raining again. Oh, this isn't oh, good. It's if raining. the rain washes away the faces, it's gonna set us back a long way. From out of town, welcome to Christian Village. Hello, Paimon first, Paimon first, let's introduce ourselves first. This is Almighty Travel Fish and Paimon, this is our best companion Paimon. We are running special drinks from Final Fetch for out of town clients. We saw your commission, so we decided to come talk to you. How lucky that you are, huh? Okay, to chase too. I'm Chef Gucci, in case of fruit fe eh? fruit of fetch to make the. Okay, okay, before we get to it, please give us the funds. Step ahead of the police, take this fairy. Brew gels after running the little hose and what she's left. Please keep the change of rod for your work. That was quick. Okay, so we need to talk also with someone from. Kinching village. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're back. Yep. Chill can place orders. Yep, this time we need some crazy fruit. So festival. Where did I get the feeling for business delivery? Get ready to be surprised, Barge. So if we offer 13,000 for 50, we can offer 13,000, 20, 21. Best offer. Guys, drive a hard bargain. Okay, just like last time, documents will be given to you. It will arrange a transportation. They'll give me receipts to make feel. Okay. Okay. Also sell it to him. Okay. Map. It's raining again. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, if the rain washes away the pieces, it's gonna. Good. There it is. We're back. Place your order for the case of Fruit Festival is a receipt. Amazing, you two are, have been a big help. So the, mm, that's a bully thing, if you do. Careful, mix fresh drink with a tin specific proportion to make the that will be able to work harder. Sounds a bit like bartending, but with teeth. Is that even possible? I used to be a chef when I was aboard for a while. This approach achieves the best balance between cost and taste, and I've made it many times, makes me want to try it. Next time you guys could feel, I'll treat you guys for a finished product. Okay. Best of luck, partnering chief. Okay. Damn. Now, details. Navigate. This is in Liyue. I thought so. Tada, fazer aí. Sai daí. 
Podes cair daí, filho. Bebê? Não, não. Tua mãe não está a tomar conta de ti. Não. Da cá. Welcome, what would you like to drink? Filho, sai daí, sai. Vai para o chão. Judging by you guys, rest. I'm guessing that you're not around here. You guys fitted to your taste. Don't set you guys off with an indra white tea. That's not worth healing. You came back later, so I'll pick up a batch of stuff. Drink from Moon to start Poison Fest. Thank you. But we're we not here to drink. We're in the run as well with other drinks. That's right, we will have a random runner. I'm honored that you put up a commission at the wedding fest asking for someone who knows what they're doing to help with ordering drinks. So that's where we come in. If you came to place orders for any drinks, let us know and we'll take the order for you. Give all the way. Yeah, you guys are so sweet. I was afraid no one will accept such troublesome commission. I'll leave it to you then. Learned from sellers who have been months at the Catstale Tavern Spilsy. The meat berry is refreshing and it's relaxing. So, like 65 cases of meat berries to sell sellers. All the drinks this way, they can just stay in the mood and work efficiently. Funds have set aside, rough times to make, please keep changes, don't work, blah blah blah, no worries. Don't worry, 65 cases of mint berries, right? Leave our provide and fish. Well, right, be right back. We need to go to Mondstadt, right? Oh no, it's right here. Go to Cat Clan, what can I get you guys? Hello Diane, we've got a business proposition for you. You explain quickly you already requested. Diane, oh the beverage shop in Lewis not pure that just opened. The sales from Dorn Report have spoken about the chocolate bar and Margaret seems to have sourced ingredients from her before. Recently when cooking was selling thir thirst quenching drinks, sellers and then dark, she also asked them for promote quenching village spring water. She gets the water at I price from Quinchy Village and results and resells it where it demand, only earning the basic cost of individual labor. With her help, people from other places can brew wine with a unique flavor. Using the spring water, Quinchy Village provides a source of income for the elderly folk in the village. It's two birds skilled with one stone. So that's how the story goes. Oh, Quinchy is such a nice person. Yep, perhaps the cat's tail will be a long term partner with her. Anyway, let's talk shop. How much? Are you going to pay for all these mint berries? If you want the everlasting partnership, how about this? You guys are joking, right? At the end of the day, we're still a business. Please be reasonable. About 13,015. Price is still too low. Margaret's going to get some heat if she hears about it. How about 777? Well, even though we will take a small loss on this project, considering that the good makes me won't be an issue. Well, the deal is done. Okay, no problem. Take this document, give it to her, great success! Great success! It's a nice! Now go back. To finish the errand. back. If you place the order and drinks you need, it will be loaded on the boat tomorrow and it will send the docks as soon as possible. Please take this receipt. Dang, that's it. How you guys move fast? I, I will prepare a pot of the tea with the best spring water. No need to be so generous. We've taken payment from work already. Yes, yes, we have other people to help for. There's no need for you to serve us. The best with your business. Next time we'll come over a place for a nice drink. Ah, well next time I'll be sure to make a favorite drink. Please come again. Come again. Mm. Yep, looks like 
We've got enough fun too. Let's go see Bernard. Yep. Now we need to go to the shop. To open the shop, I guess. Already? Wow, you sure work fast. Everything's in place, we just need to open the shop. All right, our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Bernard, place supplies for barrel of cheese. <sighs> what do you think? Not bad, huh? Yeah. Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. It's great! Really looks the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. Hmm. How about, uh, Bavarian goodies? Indubitably, Paimon. Paimon will take that as a compliment. Okay, Bernhard, so what do you need us to do next? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs. QC principles, KPIs. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Very selfless. Um, that sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. All right, why don't you go ahead and take a tight five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. The panel is the pros of ringing a shot to car. Okay. Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best art snack shop in the whole family. Market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customer. You're open for Traveler? business. Paimon? What a surprise. Mm. Morning, Fischl! You came to check out the market, huh? Hmm. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the princessin on a tour of this folk festival. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. Uh, Oz, spare us your gratuitous embellishments. <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. She also noticed that the Vinlesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree? I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vinlesa Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter. In vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? <sighs> In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against thee. But I would implore you, Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh overflowing mailbox outside your door. <laughs> there appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You are so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival. Sometimes it's very important 
to not be disturbed. He'll do to fuck his head. <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Is there anything you'd like to purchase? Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Yep. Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time and check the menu. Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Yeah, Mona, yourself, your uh, huh? Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visit. You all need to calm down. Recently, her highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, die heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. The Halaga Zinfoni is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And, if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol. Yes? It is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Vinalesa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wines sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. However, I cannot expect the Sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing hmm. that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus, you have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. In that case... to be the solution to your troubles. In addition to our range of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi-prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. Yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus, your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. But please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. <laughs> oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna buy some supplies. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Pavonian goodies has just completed its first sale. 
small sound, but the major milestone. That's right! And it makes Simon so happy to see a delighted customer find something that they really like. Oh, Paimon never knew that selling things to people who need them could feel so fulfilling! Looks like being a shop owner is a pretty cool job after all! Alright, let's keep up the momentum and get our name out there! Okay. After your shop has been opened, talk to Maria to see how your shop is doing. Before every customer flow cycle start, distribute funds well, adjust the directions of your shop, your income will increase when each direction reaches its target point. If the sum of funds allotted to one direction exceeds the target point, you can still obtain bonus earnings. Okay. There's a number of customer flow cycles. You can use the shop surgeon to help you out. You can view the various effects of the shop surgeon. Okay. The shop. You may meet with some emergency and expect a situation. What? Tip to raise product quality. Okay. Insufficient funds. Ah, okay. Oops, not following. Just need to raise Come on, you've been running the shop for a while. The current operation method refers to the method. Activity can eat business tablets on experiment with other business people. I really want my shop started and do actually have quite a few ideas. And then we'll also help collect the experience of other business to improve it to you. To you. What's this? Quality. Cost of art business face you see will increase. Understand next cycle. Supply shortage. 
this is going to supply shortage the product quality targets next products will be more stringent for one customer full cycle okay but we can unlock this oh no Assessment time. Quick review assists. Product quality. What's the emergency? Owner assessment. Oh, okay. A special. Uh, okay. Let's do this. If an alcohol external shows in front of the shop, what do we do? What was he drinking? Well, the correct answer is called Knight of Avonius. But that answer was not that. Trying to cut down the veterinary source. Is there another place to make a dead cell? It reduce the likelihood the drinkers will start amazing things. Longer term for early nights. Okay, next question. Items for sale are often boxed up and stacked. Says the shopkeeper, when measure will take to prevent fire iron. Put the cryo slime. In one of the boxes, put the cryo slime in each. <laughs> I never thought about that before. The way goods are sell to help shopkeeper faces. Answer will be a long line, which is very dangerous to accumulate. Okay. Yeah, I still figure out some solutions. Are you for real? If I'm a new fish, could answer either way. If I'm an old dev, jump to those questions immediately. Otherwise, Please don't be discouraged by the honor and answer were light and witty, and also made sense. Perhaps honor and night answers to you were inspired by you. Oh really? You found me out. Hmm, that's right, next time I have a question like that, that time an answer. You passed. Excellent. Can I... No. Is it going to increase a small amount? Okay. Strategic points. Next cycle. Okay, strategic points. Allow us to unlock one of these. Service. Open. We just have to meet those next cycle. Minim minimum minimum I think special quality samplings. Quality target will be more streamed for one customer full cycle. How many cycles are there? 10?
and finally came quietly into the store, leaving a package and a letter. The mom said later, Charity sell him a final scholarship of his child. He was very touched. He wanted Alberta to grow happy, and donated some fair jelly and another goods for sales. He, but why would he hide his identity? This guy is a low profile. Maybe it has poison in the berries. Treasure orders that need counterfeit goods we don't regret for next fake merchants to sell. Here to deliberate more on. Yeah, but he gave us that. He's not going to make any money. Rather check the package. It's approved on our night. Captain, I uh, don't know to worry. Previous people have made such a number of donations to sell. sell. Motion to sell from our pocket. Packets all white. Yeah. New strategy. Business will increase a large amount. From product quality, it's a target you will be refunded a certain portion of. Ooh. Ooh, 10,000 and 12. Next cycle. We need the objective. Cycles okay, it's 10 cycles. We will lock the other one. Honorary Knight Paimon, good news. We have some new helpers. These two store owners heard about our charity sale, they want to donate their earnings and join us. What a donation? Are you sure? Absolutely, each extra donation means one extra person getting the help they need. Both Pauline and I think that's more important than us making more money than we technically need. This year's Vine Laser Fest is busier than previous years, so we met our target earnings more quickly than we expected. That's enough for us. 
It doesn't seem right to leave the important task of caring for our most vulnerable to you alone. We just want to help however we can. Please, it's the You're least we can do. You're extremely grateful. Yeah. name of our shop. Uh, how about Favonian goodies and buddies? Sounds good to me. All right, let's give this all we've got and make this a charity event to remember. Over here for snacks, fresh flowers, and general goods. Folks, grab bargains at Favonian goodies. <laughs> 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 huh? Hey, look, it's Albedo! Uh, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our store. It's been a while. Looking to buy anything in particular, Albedo? I'm not in As it Oops. happens, Timaeus and I made some progress in our research recently, so I took the opportunity to bring you a batch of our finished product. Consider it our contribution to the charity effort. Aw, so you came all the way here just to help us out? That's so nice of you. Let's take a look here. We've got bottles of... Wait, what is this stuff? It's an extra strong sobriety potion. Oh, okay. that can sober up the intoxicated and alleviate hangovers. Please, hand them out for free to anyone who needs them. Having some complimentary items will undoubtedly help you attract more customers. Sounds like a super useful invention. It must have taken you ages. Mm, no. Oh. Uh, it must have been a while since I demonstrated my capabilities to you. <laughs> I most likely wouldn't have had any interest in research like this in the past. But now, I think that it's worthwhile using alchemy to make people's lives easier in small ways like this. Definitely. Well, I might assume so. Because Paimon's never been drunk before, but plenty of our customers probably have been. It would definitely ruin the mood if someone fell into the lake or tripped over a rock after having one too many glasses of festive cheer. We can take all this and give nothing in return. Hey, Albedo, you should take some stats back with you and share them with Klee. It's on the house. All right, then. I shan't refuse. I had no idea you two had such keen business sense. It's a savvy choice of location for selling snacks. There's a festive mood all around, and the division of labor is eminently sensible. If any other Knight of Favonius were running the show, it would be a much more... Uh, generic operation. Wow! Getting complimented by Albedo is an amazing feeling! This must be how it feels to drink an extra strong sobriety potion when you wake up with a groggy head! Anyway, it sounds like you know quite a lot about running a charity... Well, I provided a dozen or so landscape paintings for a previous charity event, also run by the Knights of Avonius. They must have been worth a fortune! Well, the people buying them certainly thought so. Some felt that my painting style was a rare one worth investing in, and offered a large sum of money for each work. This, plus the sizable profits made from auctioning some of my still-life paintings, seemed to give Alice an idea. She used her personal connections to apply for some sort of certification for my artwork. I mm. believe they call it... copyright? Later, many artists began to imitate my landscape paintings, and they became a common sight throughout Mondstadt. It sounds familiar, so we're talking from According to the rules of the copyright that Alice applied for, the artists need to pay me a portion of their revenue for each landscape painting of this style that they sell. Wealth was never one of my goals. I don't care where the money goes, so I entrusted it to the Knights of Favonius and let them manage it. I suppose it would be fitting to use it to pay for the destruction that Alice has created. But from what I hear, they use it all on charitable initiatives, which is also a noble cause. So you've never... Participate in his charity cell, yet you've done more charity than any of you us. You never cease to amaze, Albedo. Though it was hardly my original intention, I have come to embrace my unexpected philanthropic achievements. Good for you, Owen. And right. I am only too happy to share my expertise with you. However, practice is the most essential factor. Make some snacks for Albedo and take back with him. Uh, <clears throat> well then. I will be returning to the workshop. I wish you and the shop all the best. Thanks for your contribution, and good luck with your research! 
Come again when you're free. <laughs> Come again. Speak to any of the stores owner for any good inventories. Check out their shops. Doing you also can do tab check out the the three shops for any good inventories. Will run simultaneously. You must consider how to use your funds. Okay, running the three shops. Nice, but this seems a little bit more complicated. Now we have three shops to run. Okay. So it probably will be more difficult. We have to divide the the sum on all shops. Ooh, but we have a lot more raw general goods. Oh, and we can put on each okay hmm, doesn't seem that difficult because we can use help uh, we can only have one assistant at the shop okay Okay, let's uh, stop the event here. Uh, there still are a lot of things to do. Uh, we need to see the rest of the story of um, uh, Razor, and we still have to help out the sto uh, store and also find the treasures that are on this, on this, in this one. We have a lot of funds to do. But most of it is done. Shop colors. Maybe I'll do this off stream because it seems that is a little, a little sucky sucky to, to do this. We just need to Take walk easy. around here to try to find the things that will appear. Yeah, they are revealed quite easily, as you can see. And yeah, probably I'll find these treasures of stream because it seems that there are a lot of them and that they are not that hard to find. Was this one? No. And they seem to be all over Mondstadt. So yeah, I think that uh, this live stream will end around here. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of them. But you don't really need to be that close. Just need to take a tour around the city. And it seems to be Thank enough you. to find all of those. Well, they probably Thank are in the most obvious places. You probably will find a lot of them. It's a fatui. Uh, just by strolling around the city. And the ones you don't find, you just need to go back and read them. Another one. You read the clues so you can find it. The specific place the clues will help you out a lot i reckon so this must be quite fast are they outside of the town probably not yeah. Another one. 
Probably there is one near the church. Behind it. They're probably not inside of the buildings. Take it easy. This is the cemetery. No, there's no but there's one thing here. Let's see. How many have we found? Number seven, the gifts. Southernmost tip of Spring Vale. Don't start at a place with true excellent view. It's very, very, very high up. Take care. One in here. Sure. Yep. Time to go. Oh. And the other is in, in Springvale. Southmost. Yeah, probably I'm going to do all of that off stream. But now I really wanted to find this last one. The house at the southernmost tip southernmost tip southernmost tip okay near this house it's up there yep let's see what happens when we find all the treasures and finish this live stream i'll be back with another one probably won't be as long as this one i will just get a good as new just get a bonus i think <coughs> oh no we get a new quest uh, okay i'll find all of these ones Ooh, okay they're in two different locations now Okay, very nice. That's it. Let's finish this up here before we encounter something by mistake. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Uh, next live stream, I'll be making the rest of the event, uh, and we'll be finding out who are Razor's parents. That's it for now. Hope you have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome uh, gaming time. Bye bye. What the